All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new Star Wars Squadrons video. In today's video, we have a news update with a brand new pilot briefing from EA and the team over at Motive. Now, this covers everything to do with ranks, rewards, and progression, and there's some really cool details in here, including some ranked rewards, which actually sound really cool, and also eight-week cycles, which work similar to a battle pass to show who the best players are in the game. So we're gonna go through all the details of this, and I'm gonna give you guys my opinion along the way we are very close to the release of star wars squadrons with it releasing in just over a week or a week depending where you are in the world i really can't wait to get my hands on the game and actually start to play it a little bit more after getting the play test i've been itching to play it ever since so i really hope that we do get that next week going really quickly and we can jump straight into squadrons now we're going to take a look at this pilot briefing right now so if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for a bunch of squadrons videos in the future and if you enjoy this video and learn something please leave a thumbs up on the video. Anyways, it starts off by saying greetings pilots with launch just around the corner. We wanted to equip you all with some important details about how Star Wars Squadrons will provide you with new things to do over time. As we've said when we revealed Squadrons back at EA Play, this is a self-contained game where all progression, unlocks, and rewards are earned solely through playing the game. Today we're going into more details about how we'll entertain you and reward you for as many hours as you put into the game. Now they've inserted this interesting screenshot here which basically gives you a look at your current level as well as your stats so you can keep track of how you're doing along the way as well as like your win ratio kd ratio the most used ship and a bunch of other details in there as well so that's really cool to see that they've got a stat screen it continues to say the core pillars of squadrons online experience are challenges operations and your level with each of these there are ways to be rewarded with glory which is the currency only earned by playing that's used to unlock your cosmetics now remember there are two types of currency there's this one called glory for cosmetics and you'll also earn experience from playing the game which allows you to level up and earn requisition points which you're going to be using to purchase actual components for your ships so there'll be upgrades different abilities that you can use with your starfighters that are going to help you out in the long run it also then goes into challenges where it says your main forms of reward from challenges beyond post-match earnings will be through these challenges daily and operational challenges they're timed rotating objectives that you can complete to get rewards while playing now you'll be able to see on screen an image that does show an operation challenge complete 20 20 daily challenges before the operations end to collect the reward and the reward is a symbol of hope helmet which is a epic level rarity custom helmet that you guys get from completing this challenge which is really cool and then you can see on the right hand side some daily challenges for some glory points as well it says that you'll want to regularly complete these daily challenges to keep getting rewarded while playing squadrons they're often simple objectives that provide you with this glory to unlock cosmetics for your starfighters and pilots and encourage you to try different ships and components to achieve completion glory is also earned based on how you perform in match operation challenges however are different they can reward you with unique cosmetics and are tied to the game's ongoing operations now what is operations well operations and ranks are kind of tied in together an operation is an eight week cycle that happens in squadrons and each operation brings with it a set of unique cosmetic rewards that can only be earned by completing its challenges now you would have heard me say in the intro guys that this is very similar to how a battle pass would work you complete these challenges you earn rewards as you go along and as you rank up. It continues to say that certain challenges also offer unique rewards, so once they're gone, you won't be able to get that cosmetic unless the operation challenges return one day. So seeing which pilots are showing off their unique flair will be a good way to tell if you're up against a dedicated ace, which is really cool. I think they're going to have limited time cosmetics so that if you are really dedicated to the game and you're really tied into it, you're going to have the rarest of cosmetics on your starfighters. Also tied into these eight-week resets is your fleet battles rank. With every operation's conclusion and the start of a new one, your competitive rank tied to fleet battles will reset, allowing for a regular reassessment of your skills. And to get your first rank, you'll need to play in 10 placement matches. It then shows you a current rank and tier progression on the screen here with this image. And you can see your skill rating at the bottom, as well as the rewards you can get along the way for leveling up. It does look like there are tier divisions per ranking. So for example, if you're in Hotshot 1, then you progress to Hotshot 2, 3, 4, 5, and then onto the next rank. So the ranks from lowest to highest go from Maverick to Hotshot, Hero, Valiant, Legend, and Galactic Ace. As you play through a ranked ladder system that resets every week, it states that operations are their take on competitive play through a ranked ladder system that resets every eight weeks, a way for our players to test their skills and teamwork capabilities in our more strategic mode called Fleet Battles. The system is built to encourage players to improve their skills 
without being overly punishing if you run into some bad luck. Players are protected from demotion into lower divisions for the length of an active operation. This is a note though, you cannot drop from Legend to Valiant, but you can drop from Legend 3 to Legend 2. So you can go down within that actual rank itself, but you can't go down an entire rank. So that's a good thing, once you've earned that rank, you kind of stay there for the rest of the season. At the end of the operation, players receive glory based on the maximum rank achieved, rather than their current rank, to push pilots to go as far as they can. Players also get exclusive helmets upon reaching Valiant, Legend, and Galactic Ace ranks for the first time. These are the same across all operations. So if you didn't manage to get the ones you wanted during your first operation, you can still get them in the future. So this kind of just encourages players to really grind that ranked game mode and actually do as well as you can and try to get Galactic Ace so you can get that custom helmet for your character. Now, speaking of progression, there is one other way that you can track your progression within the game, and that is your current level. Players have a personal level. Your level is a linear a progression path that does not reset unlike your competitive rank. So for the first 40 levels, you're going to unlock a requisition point that can be used to unlock ship components. If you're one of the more dedicated pilots and you hit level 40, you'll have enough points to unlock the entire components list, allowing you to try out every potential starfighter build. The goal is with leveling isn't that you'll get more powerful as you level up, but rather that you'll have more options available to you via components as you play. As mentioned before, there will also be occasional bonus events that play out over time, including ones that provide additional glory. Beyond that, completing parts of the game will also provide you with cosmetic bundles. Players will get a bundle of cosmetics for completing the single player story mode and another for completing the fleet battles tutorial. While almost all of the game's experiences will be built in at launch, we'll still be updating it over time. We've seen a few questions about this, but should anything be balanced or fixed, we'll be actively taking your feedback to make this the best possible Starfighter experience and release notes will be provided with any updates. So guys, there is a lot of information information to take in. I think it's really going to be cool to see how the ranked system plays out. Your player levels is going to be relatively basic. Once you hit level 40, you'll have all of the components unlocked. But I think the big thing to take away from this is the challenges, operations and ranked. Operations being the eight week challenge cycle that pretty much just lets you determine which rank you're going to end up at and if you're going to get access to these custom rewards, which I think will be a really cool way to show off your starfighter skills. Not only that, but you can also challenge yourself to do as well as possible. It just gives you something to grind for in a ranked system if you don't just like playing pubs and you actually want some sort of test to see how far you can take yourself. I'm really excited for Squadrons. Like I said at the start of the video, it is only a week away and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'll be covering the game a lot more once it comes out. I have a week off work next week when it releases, so you'll definitely see plenty of content there. But with all that said, guys, I am going to get out of here now. I appreciate all of you tuning in. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you are excited for Star Wars Squadrons, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in, and may the Force be with you, always. Thank you.